Hi everyone, in today's video I will show you in a few minutes how to create an automated KBIS template in Excel to streamline your workflow and save time. I understand that maybe many of you already using like other tools like Tab Tableau or Power BI for the KBIS and, and so on, and even sometimes Python, but still we I believe we need Excel in many of the exercises, especially if you would like to have a quick look into something. So it's good to, to have kind of an automated templates to even make it more faster for you and so on. So let, let me explain that what whatever you're going to do today. So actually this is what we are going to create that I would like to have a template which having a charts based on your design, but I just give you some samples. And this is charts, for example, can be created and updated automatically, like whenever you upload a new data or Upload and use it will just directly bend it into the charts and update it directly. Also, you can control this chart through, as you can see in the right side here, sliders. For example, if you select one day here or four days, or even if you like select all of them, how do you like to exclude particular days, the days, for example, as Saturday and Sunday? For example, like this, or Friday and whatever. And also, you would like to select between different areas like that. So, all it will be automated. And the main idea that uh, that you will not need to copy paste anything like you will just need to drag and drop your your files into one folder and it will just directly be automated here so let me show you first what kind of free data we have so this is how your data looks like it will be like a date area name and within this area name you'll find this kind of multi kbis and so on so let me first start from scratch building an excel file which is having a blank data, then I will show you what we can do. So my, this is first will be my data, how it looks like. This is my initial or um, the original raw data. It will look like this format, as you can see. This is the format which I have it now. And it will be within located within one folder called raw data. Okay, and in this raw data folder, will be like importing the data from this folder i will show to you and whenever you append any data or add any data within the same folder it will be automatically appended within the, the your, your data or the automated template and every time you add your data it will just update the charts and data and so on so let me start from scratch with a blank sheet to show you so here is a blank uh, excel sheet so the first thing you need to do is that you need to locate your folder where you have those uh, Excel files or Excel sheets. So I will just move up here and top uh, left here, home page. Then you go to the data here. Then in data, you will just get, you will just insert the very left one, which is called get data. And under get data, I will just from file. And here you can even take it from Excel file or from folder. And I believe it's better to take it from folder in case if you're updating this template regularly. So you just need to add or append the data into this particular folder all the time. So it will directly being added to your sheet. So just click on folder. Then uh, here in this folder, I will select this data inbox, as you can see, which is this folder. It's having inside it one called raw data here. So I, I was just being selected that one, which is including my data here. So I will just uh, click it here. Then I will just click, click on it. So this showing you the information under this folder. So in this folder, we have only one file currently, which is called KBI's Automated Excel Template Part 1. And here is just giving another information here. So what you need to do, you just need to go bottom down here. You have this kind of code. So you click Combine and Transform Data. So you click here, Combine and Transform Data. So it will be opening another query, as you can see now. Yeah, okay, that now just telling you in case if you have multiple files, it will ask you which one you would like to take it as, as, as a reference. So I just take next sheet one here. This is what your data I have. So this is will be the format which I, I'm going to use, which is data models, which I already uh, presented to you. So I will just click OK. So now, as you can see now, the file has been created or, or opened it within this kind of called Bower Query Editor. And by the way, I have detailed video explanation about the Bower Query. It was related to Bower BI. But it's same exactly the same concept. So then this power query, you will see that you have other queries, raw data, which is already imported. And here, source name, it will show you that the, the, the folder, uh, the file name within your folder. So if you move to the very right here and you click on the source above here, you'll find that within this folder, we have only one Excel file, which is called this name. And whenever you add additional uh, files, which I will show you in the, in the future, you will show that this additional file is coming with a new name here. So. Here you can do whatever editing you would like to do, and this will be automated as well. So for example, I will just delete this one. 
removed and I will just quickly add one column here to keep it consistent with what I have shown to you. I will just click here add column then under add column I will just go for example day I will tell him I need the name of the day so it will add me one column in the very right here which call it Friday, Saturday and so on. So what you need to do now you just only need to do you go to home page again then you make close and look. Once you click close and load, you will see that it's now opening this data in a table format here. And this is your data where you need to start creating your KBIs template and so on. So what you need to do first, just to have this kind of automated template, you need to click insert above here, the second one on top. Then under the insert, the insert, you need to go to pivot the chart. Then I will select pivot the chart. And also you can select any other of those, but I will just pivot the chart. Then here you need to click in use an external data source, which is this one. Under this one, you need to choose a connection. And under the connection, I will go to the tables. Here you have a connection, you have tables. So under the connection, I would like to select the raw data, which is my original data, which I have it here, which is the one being created as a table. So you just click this one, then you click OK. So now it's just opening a very normal barefoot chart, as you know. But the main difference is, is it, it will be like this form. For example, this now a chart. Like, let's just try to fix first the size of this front because I will re re reuse it all the time. So I'll just here fix the size. I don't want to, to don't move or size these files. Then I will just close that one. So now, as you now would like to create any chart, let's say data here, you drop and drag data here. Then you would like to, for example, give the RRC connected users here. And this RRC connected user you would like to give it as line chart, for example. Okay. So now you have it like that. So now you, what you need to do, for example, you need to copy this one and add it again here. And once you copy it, now you can just create again another, for example, KPIs, for example, use this other metrics here, and it will also give you a line chart as you can see here. You can just format it to looks like whatever you have seen before, but let's do the format at the very end. And before continuing with more charts here, I would like just to show you how to insert the slicer. So you just click inside the slicer here. So a slicer, you click this one. Then you select whatever filter you would like to add to the, this data. For example, you have weekday. You have this whole network, which is actually, uh, I forget to rename it, but it's okay. I'll show you what data I have. And I would like to select, for example, the date, date, and date and day name and so on. So let's see what we'll get. As you can see now, we have this weekday. We have area. And also, let me close this one. And we have this day name and you have the data as well. So the main idea now here, this one, if you click in one of those, it will filter. But you can see it's folder only one, uh, one, one chart because what I have done, I clicked it, I click here and I inserted, I make insert slicer from only one chart. So if you remove that one again, if you click into the slicer itself, right click, then you make report connection, you'll find it's only highlighting one. So if you would like to control both of them, you need just to click in the other one. So you will do the same steps here as well. So you just select both the charts. And I will tell you what is the trick to make it more faster whenever you create. And here as well. Same here. So now let's try to control uh, any of those. See, data are going to change for both charts. So for example, I create area two. See, the trend will be changing for both of them. See, the chart change. And same if you collect it, for example, uh, only three days or four days. See also to be showing that. And in case if you would like to highlight to hidden this hidden information, you just need to right click again here, slicer for settings, then hide hide items was made that was showing down here. Then you click here, so it will hide this data in case if you have any blank data, so it will just being disappeared. You can repeat the steps or every one of those. And the trick of not like you will not need to every time go and update the report connection once you have the slicers when you, whenever you add a new chart for example now i will right click copy and add it again then i will right click and show the field list which is showing my pivot so i'd like to add now let's say two kpis which is for example downlink traffic here and throughput as well for example those two kpis and i will modify the formatting here right click change format combo list then the throughput I would like to show it as line, for example, and that one I will try to, for example, like this. So I have it like this. So now if you click here, let me close this one again. If you click clear that one, see it will being added all of them. As long as the slides are already created, so whenever you add a new one, 
a new slider, it will be directly added to the slider itself. So if you right click remote connection again, you find all the sliders being added, the four of them. So this is a trick. So whenever you create the slider, you first try to make only one chart, then start adding the slider first, then I start adding the charts one by one. So let me create the last chart here. For example, I will add the uplink traffic and uplink throughput as well. And it will be similar format for whatever I used to have now. So here like that, uh, then I will do like this. Use the attribute as a chart and that one as uh, again, same the, the area one. Okay, so this is what we have. You can continue doing the same for all the charts, and this is will keep updating the, the your charts here. So you can here now filter and do this kind of filtration and also updating the chart format based on your need. So now, what is the trick? I would like to show you whenever you add additional files into your your uh, folder, what will happen? So let me go to the the original data. So, for example, let me go to the initial folder which we used to have. Show you after adding a folder, what we'll see here in the in the here KPIs will be updated or not. So here is our folder, the original folder we used to have raw data, and this raw data folder where we are using to add to our Excel file. So if you click this one, you find only one here showing part one. So let me add this part two, move it inside here. I'll just take it inside and Part two, the idea that it's exactly containing almost the same information, but it's starting from 30 of September till 4 of October. Okay, as you can see here. And for both area one and area two. So if you right click here, this was ending till 29 of September. So now I'm expecting after I refresh my template, I have to see the remaining data automatically. So let's go back to, for example, here, the raw data, here, the original data. So I would like to see now a building the new detail. So what you need to do, you need to click in the top, very top right here, query. Then under query, you need to go to edit. So it will be taking you into the edit one. And if you click again in the very right here, source data, and here only showing one TBI. So you need to go the top left here, then refresh, refresh preview. See now it's appending the new data, it's called part two. So now what I'm expecting, I'm expecting my data will be, as you can see here, updating with area two. And there you want till 4 of, of October. So let's close and loot and see what we get. Now I'm expecting the data will be appending with the new dates down here. So now let's refresh it. See, now it's all adding here. So once you go back to the charts, you click in the charts, any, any of those charts, then go to design, for example, or format. Uh, sorry, give it the chart analy analyze. Then you will click refresh and refresh all. Now what you'll see once it's being added, I'll show you what you'll get. If you click into the dates down here, now it's getting up to, as you can see, all the dates being added, as you can see, till 4 of October, as you can see. So now it's being automated completely. And that time, every time you add to the folder any files, it will be replicated here or duplicated here, and it will keep adding your data. And again, for Power Query itself, it's very useful. It's already part of Power, Power BI. I have one video in details. If you watch that one, it will make your life easy in Excel file and so on. And that's it for, for today for today's video. And I hope if you like it, to click a li like and sh to share it and spread the word. Thank you and see you next. And thank you very much and see you next video.